one of those freaking hand jobs and have a key on them. Not uh, sure if any of you guys are into this, but I will bring it up because I am. I do enjoy uh, the footballs. Uh, Super Bowl is right here, and you know what, man? Okay, and I, this I don't know if this made it to the podcast or not, but it's something that uh, I feel is very relevant to humanity. Uh, I was really stunned. When I was watching um, the, it was like the last game of the season, or it was the playoff game. It was a playoff game or something. I don't know. Uh, but Ray Lewis, okay, Baltimore Ravens linebacker, listed as one of the greatest uh, linebackers to ever back the lines. Uh, in what surely would have been his last game at the Baltimore Ravens dome. Uh, the commissioner, the big head honcho, comes out and he's wearing a Ray Lewis jersey and he gives him a hug. He says, Oh, Ray Lewis, it's your last game. Never seen anything quite like that. Let's see here. Hey. Yeah, too bad. Lord Harkins McCabe, dead so soon after joining the family. We're just lucky I was here to return the chalice to Bengalmo so we could make you come Wait, again. what? That's not what we agreed. What the hell's going we on? Take it back together. Uh oh. You didn't really think I'd let you walk out of here either, did you? Bengalmo wants. Well, I like that dress. Fine. Oh, but that face. <laughs> not quite. Aren't you both bad guys? I'm a hero to the vampires. Alright, so let me get back to my little story of my anger with the world. So, for any of you, those of you who are unaware, um, Ray Lewis is kind of like OJ. And, and if you don't know who OJ is, Jesus Christ, Google it. Uh, in this fall, winter, whatever, 2000, 2001, the year before the Ravens went to the Super Bowl, the uh, some other team was in the Super Bowl. Damn. Oh, okay. And it, I guess it was in Atlanta. And Ray Lewis is in a limousine with a couple of other dudes. Uh, two other dudes. And there are two dudes outside the limousine and they're pounding away, talking crap to good old Ray Lewis and his buddies, who just so happened earlier that day to buy uh, knives. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Bought some knives over at a Need some. Hmm? shelter. Or not shelter. What am I saying shelter for? This is the shelter that I'm in. At a, you know, a sporting goods store. Long story short, TLDR, uh, the two guys outside the limousine are dead, stabbed multiple times. The uh, knives, I believe, are gone. They'd never find those. Uh, Ray Lewis was also in a nice huh? pearly white suit, which uh, disappeared after that night as well. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess he turned on the two guys. You know, he had a plea, plea agreement something along those lines uh, testified 
and I guess there wasn't enough information to get the other two dudes so to make again this long story short uh, he and these two guys like serve no time these two other dudes are dead <laughs> and you know like wow what what like how does that happen that's amazing and you know right. ten years later need something are you bad are you a bad guy cuz I think I want to kill you cuz you gave me so much attitude mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll let it go so I just don't understand you know like he's one of these dudes he suddenly he found Jesus you know, he's like, oh, you can't judge me, because after this happened, I found Jesus, and Jesus was, like, totally forgiving, so if Jesus forgives me, that means you gotta forgive me, and me and Jesus are, like, BFFs, so screw all you guys. And now he's, like, a hero. He's, like, a hero to the NFL. And, you know, now it's a story of, like, is Ray Lewis gonna go out on top, like, John Elway did when he won, and I'm not even going to get into that, because whatever, I don't care. Dang! I'm bleeding out. But, uh, yeah, I just, it's its so weird to me, like, and then I make posts about it uh, on my own personal little Facebook to my friends, and they're like, hey man, you know, like, no big deal, <laughs> like, he's, he's, a, he's a beast, he's, you know, Big Ray Lewis is doing his thing. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, doing your thing. You know, cutting people's heads off and shit. I'm just doing my thing, man. Jesus said it was cool, so it's cool. That's gonna be my excuse from now on. Well, freaking Jesus loves me. You know, I'm not asking your forgiveness, because freaking Jesus already gave it to me. And uh, if you don't like it, well, uh, you can suck my balls and uh, suck Jesus' balls too while you're at it. Alright, guy. I see you have returned. Lord Harkin will be pleased. You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Bang! As well you should have. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkin's court. Bengalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Okay. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them. And at the same time, deprive them of their little pets. Magic you've done, up. Lord Harkin, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Now, I believe that Lord Harkin wishes to speak with you. He kind of reminds me of the dude from Game of Thrones. You know that guy with the... He was always smiling, he's got a creepy smile. He wound up, I think, putting the knife to... To Ned's Castle. neck. More. You know, he's one of these super politician guys, or political game of throne playing throne and knights. But I always had like the creepy, per like a pervert smile, like, oh, uh, yes, my lord, I certainly will meet you in the bathhouse tonight to discuss our arrangements. <laughs> Let us conduct all of our meetings from the bathhouse. You are here. Yep, I'm sitting on this chair when we talk. Ah. I just want to take a load off, dude. Ah. You are here. Good. Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told that, you the truth. That daughter of yours. But I did not tell you everything. Oh. Did your daughter used to be your son? Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind would serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. We the built spaceships! For an answer to this problem. I'll kill the sun at I once. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. 
I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. We'll proclamate then. Check out some proclamating. Chill out. Party. Proclamate a little more. We'll see how the night goes. Hey. Whoa. My goodness. How you been? Mm. Mm. Not as hot as I remember you. Hear my words. And mine. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Yeah, upon us. We will claim dominion over the sun. Itself, dominion in this motherfucker. And forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Darkness of this bitch. Now that I have reclaimed one of my elder scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. Yeah, find him flying around like a bitch. False rumors about the discovery of an elder scroll in Skyrim. Rumors and innuendos. A moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Fruit! Go forth. I'm being a hype man, in case you didn't know. the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Cities? Speak to towns? Carriage we don't care. Anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now, and carry out this task. This is my command. Yeah, cheer him on. Look at our great lord. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Ooh. Enlighten me. Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably oh. shouldn't know about. I... Well, I'd come with you, but I don't know if I can trust your friend. Let me know if you want me along. Really? How you doing? Surprised you weren't at the last meeting with our lord in Galimore. I can't trust my friend. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. He sounds so much like that dude, I am telling you. Where did she go? Do I want to ditch? Alright, look. Still First here. off, I'm taking them stabs. How can I serve you, my Thane? Try not growling at me when I talk to you. Do, 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 do. Take that and that and that. I'll head back home if you need me. Yes. Wait for me in the boudoir. Alright, where'd she go? Where's my baby? Were you looking for me? Yeah. Do you need anything? Burn? Of course. Let's go. What? Can I assist you? You know I live to serve. Hmm. No, I don't need anything right now. Please, she kinda got a similar no face to Lydia. Yes. Of course. Wait. Do you need something? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. It will be. Take. Oh, better load that up. Make sure she's fully charged for this crap. Oh, what is it? Anything good? Yeah, I'm gonna fill you up with something good. <laughs> oh man. Even I'm like, what the fuck? Alright. I hope you find life in the castle to be to your liking. You're checking me out. Come life to running. Yeah, has many advantages. Don't you agree? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I Lots of I need right here. people that you on. That makes it sound like that's a simple life. I have everything I need right here. Like just going around getting bodies is easy. 
stinking dingling. 